He is a sex and relationship coach who teaches all over the country. He just led a very successful sex geek summer camp where people gathered in the woods on the East Coast and did a lot of sex experimentation. And he is known all over the place. His, like, his workshops have been taught like to 40,000, 50,000 people. Wow. He is an amazing educator. He's an incredible storyteller. Please welcome to the stage, Reed Mahalko! Hello, body. You know what I loved about the, the Han Solo story? <clears throat> Was that the second time? Han did not shoot first. <laughs> oh. So, everyone make a this is Infomaniac, so I can kind of teach a little bit. Dixie hates it when I teach. Everyone take a deep breath. Go. <sighs> this will be important for the story. <laughs> Everyone do this. And now do this. <laughs> In some circles, there is a legend. <laughs> of a silent duck. This will be important for our story. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I am, and thank you for the plug for Sex Geek Summer Camp. Um, there's stickers and, and things in the back. D stickers are free, t-shirts are, are $20. Um, that being said, I have had the great blessing because when my mom said, Reed, you can grow up to be whatever you want. <laughs> This was probably not what she meant. <laughs> so I have the pleasure now of being a sex geek and, and being invited to be places and teach and just kind of hang out and frolic. <clears throat> and I got to teach at a bunch of different retreats and events that helped inspire Sex Geek Summer Camp. And I would go, and, and at first I was like all like nervous, and you know, there were camps that were like, you know, curated by Tristan Terramino, and like, and I'm like, huh, and I was like a little baby sex geek at the time, and I'm like, I don't even have a Twitter account, um, I don't know if I should be here. And Tristan sat me down, and she's like, Reed, I need you to just be you. I'm like, really? She's like, yes. Okay. And so I fucked as many people as I could. If I could. <laughs> and I had the illustrious privilege of being awarded Miss Congeniality, <laughs> which had never been awarded to a first time camper ever at that camp. <laughs> and then I got invited back. <laughs> and I kept, I kept it strong. And I fucked everybody I could. <laughs> Well, I taught classes as well. I was here from around. And I've told a few stories about, you know, the cheerleading threesome, and, you know, that's stories for other bodies. Or you can find them on YouTube. Just Google body on YouTube. That being said, at one camp, I had a very, very lovely, curvy, beautiful, like, Nebraskan farm girl, kind of pouty-lipped, just eyelashes that when they, when they would, would flutter, you'd hear, Fwapa. Fwapa. You know, and we're in the rolling hills of Maryland, in an actual place that I think used to actually be a Girl Scout camp. <laughs> hills and grasses and, you know, little like cicadas in the trees, and like, you know, the summer breezes and perverts just running everywhere. <laughs> and they, like, and you would see things, like, cause me, I'm not, you know, I'm, it, by vanilla standards, I'm kinky. By kinky standards, I'm vanilla. <laughs> and so you would be like, walking around and like, do, 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 and you'd turn a bend and you'd be like,
Did, what's that person doing with that shovel? Why are they digging a gr... <laughs> so I was very happy when this lovely Nebraskan milkmaid with her flowy dress and her... Reed, I have something I'd, I'd like to ask you if you would do with me. And I'm like, well, I, I just got finished taking, you know, teaching my class. What would you like? I would like you to fist me. Now, outside, I was kind of Han Solo. Well, it would be my great pleasure. Nebraska milkmaid. <laughs> but inside I was like, I've never fisted anyone before. <laughs> Luckily, two years before, I had taught a class. I created a workshop, which was the laziest workshop I could come up with. That was the goal. How do I come up with a workshop so lazy that I can just show up, have fun, and everyone thinks that's great. And I created Iron Slut, Sex Educator Showdown. And it was basically, I would invite another sex geek to come up on stage with me, and we're just gonna hang out, kind of like actor's theater, like the actor's studio, where, where I'm like, you know, lipped in, and I'm like, well, tell us, John Travolta, about the first time you played in Greece, blah, 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 blah. So I would be like, well, tell us about the first time you ever took it up the ass, blah, 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 blah. And then we would talk about ass fucking or whatever the other thing was, and I'd be like, would you like to show us? And they'd be like, of course. And then we, without the British accents, and then we would just like do sex up on stage in front of an audience that was like. <laughs> and we'd be like, great, have a great night, everybody. And they'd be like. <laughs> but they would always come back. <laughs> and it was great. So luckily, I had asked, how many people know who Dylan Ryan is? <laughs> We're a porn person, amazing, super geek. It's not a secret that I have a crush on Dylan Ryan. If you were to tweet it right now, it might help. <laughs> At the Dylan Ryan. Um, and so, I invited Dylan, I'm like, Dylan, would you like to be a part of my workshop thing? It's a really easy workshop to do. And she's like, of course, Reed. I'm like, okay. She's like, how about I fist Jiz Lee? Yeah! How many people know who Jiz Lee is? Yeah! That sounds fabulous, Dylan. <laughs> so, Dylan, now, what's the first time that you have a fist of anybody? La, 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 la. Would you like to show us? Absolutely! <laughs> now, this is why you pay attention. <laughs> Because you never know when the universe is trying to teach you something that years later will become very useful. <laughs> Are you comfortable? Why, yes, I am. Do you prefer left hand or right hand? Are you a lefty? I am. Use your left hand. Absolutely. <laughs> Silent duck activate. <laughs> so the goal is you get, you try to get this part of your hand as, as small as possible. Okay? This is also really useful in, in magic handcuffy things. And, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> so, so you're like an escape artist, but you're trying to get in. Okay? So I'm kind of doing the, the thing, and I'm getting her all ready, and I'm like, wax on, wax off, lube, 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 more lube, more lube. How are you feeling? Great. Okay. 
Oh, um, Reed, I need to tell you something. What? And we'd already had our safer sex conversation, and I'm like, what? She's like, I'm pregnant. How pregnant? It's a reasonable question. She's like, I'm about four months pregnant. Oh. And I'm like, okay. I'm trying to like. And I'm like, and we'd already talked about this wasn't her first time fisting. Like she was like, like when she like, well, you know, can we, you know, would you like to fist me? I'm like, well, yeah, okay. And she just, she's like, just hold up your hand, hold up your hand. And she, and I held my hand and she's like, yep. I'm like, well, that sounds confident. Let's have a safe sex conversation. So now fast forward. She's like, yeah, I probably should have told you that sooner. And I'm like, that would, that would have been nice. So, um, so is there like, I mean, I'm assuming you know what you're doing. Is the child in danger? She's like, no. And I'm like, okay, okay, cool, we're good. <laughs> so we're doing our thing. And then it's like, boop. And then I'm like, in my head, I'm like, this is so cool. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. And she like, this is somebody who likes being fisted. This was not her, you know, her, her, her virginal fisting. This was like a somebody who was like, yes, I know what I'm doing. I, I like you and I like your hand. And so now my fist is in and it's like, she's like, can you make a fist? I'm like, okay. And, I, and I'm remembering like everything Dylan was doing and narrating and what Jisley was talking about when they were fisting, it was all coming back to me. It was like, I was one of those like in a movie where you're like a spy, but you don't know you're a spy. It was like born identity with lube. And I'm like, I know how to do this. Tuck the thumb, make a fist, rock. <laughs> and she's doing, she's like getting into it. And I'm like, wow, this is really cool. Like this is, whoa, this is cool. Cause like, there's a thing, there's a thing that happens when you're like, you're, and there's the, and the cervix, and there's a, there's a guy, that happens, and you're like, whoa. <laughs> and she's like, can I get a vibrator? I'm like, you can do whatever you want. You, I can't get out. I'm like a monkey who grabbed an apple. <laughs> and so she pulls out like a vibrator and is like going to town. I'm like, this is amazing. <laughs> And then I'm like, you know, all my comic book geekery is going on. I'm like, oh, I have the power. And I'm like, you know, the psychedelic, I'm like sending her white light and all this. And, rawr, rawr. and then it happened. As she starts to come, I'm realizing if I ever meet this kid, Billy? You know that cow lick that you don't really like so much? Well, I did that to you, Billy. And your mom's fucking awesome, dude. You have a great life.